What's going on guys, RPA here using that max power return on YouTube and today we're going to do a little something different, something I decided I observed in the ORASOU metagame as it is right now before the game comes out. So what I was thinking about was, like all of yesterday I was just thinking to myself, well Mandibuzz has done a lot of work for me and I think that I should do something, <laughs> I should say something to the people. But you probably already know this, you've probably played the game, but I really just wanted to get my point across. So Mandibuzz is a very scary defensive Pokemon with two, oh wow I said 252 because of, uh, I'm looking at that right now. So 110 HP, 105 defense, 95 special defense, 80 speed make it a great defensive mana as well as access to foul play. File play is going to be very crucial in this in this generation coming up, especially if you're going to be running Mandibuzz because you're going to one hit Mega Metagross and Salamence starts setting up, Mandibuzz doesn't care too much, Mandibuzz will live up to a plus two return from a Salamence, so that's absolutely ridiculous, and one hit KO with the foul play. Or well, as long as Mandibuzz is at max HP, he'll live the plus two return from the, from the Salamence, it's absolutely ridiculous. Against the Megas of this next generation, Mandibuzz only has problems with two of them, and that's um, Salamence pass plus two which is very possible. It's been, it's a very scary Pokemon once it gets to that point. In fact, it pretty much sleeps your team after that at, uh, at that point. So yeah, uh, Salamence is a problem after plus two, or at plus three, I should say, as well as, uh, hold on, let me think for myself for a second, I forgot. Okay, okay, as well as Altria and Audino as well. Uh, it doesn't really get too much to deal with Mega Pidgeot, but Audino and Pidgeot aren't going to be too, used to, uh, aren't going to be used too much in OU. Audino <laughs> a lot more than Pidgeot, in my opinion, because of Audino's ability to be so good defensively. Pidgeot is going to hit hard, but it really isn't going to be too useful in the OU meta game, in my opinion, anyway. If you have your own, leave it in the comment section below. I'll read it and we'll chat. That's what I do. But anyway, getting back on topic, we're talking about Mandibus here. So. Mandibus has a pretty good support move for the Fog Taunt. Uh, it has Torment too, if you want to go that way. <laughs> Torment that can actually be pretty useful if you don't really want to be doing stuff. So like Torment could work better than um, actually no no Taunt over Torment as far as like substitute and stuff like that goes. But um, I don't know. I think what I was thinking about when I said Torment was like Lopini using High Jump Kick when you'd rather have it be <laughs> using Return on you. Maybe I guess. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. But it still only takes 38% from a Lopini uh, knock. Uh, Why well, I said knockoff? I was looking at knockoff. My bad. But I was looking at um. <sighs> forget it. <laughs> and it was only takes 38% from high jump kick from the um, from Lopini, which is absolutely ridiculous. It's really, really good. I love Mandibuzz, and I'm, I love it even more in this generation. It's absolutely fantastic. Uh, it has won so many games for me. In fact, I think I'm going to put like a replay in the background. There should be a replay going on in the background, and Mandibuzz should be a big part of it. Mandibuzz itself has led me to many victories, and I can pretty much stall people out. I don't even need to use Toxic. I have um, Defog, Taunt, Roost, and Foul Play on mine, and it's quite a bit of work. I only have, I only, I'm only missing Toxic because I have something else on the team that has Toxic. Like, I have Mandibuzz and Zapdos on the same team. Zapdos has Toxic, and Mandibuzz is Defog, so there's that. Anyway, I'm getting a little bit off topic here, so my my whole objective to, for making this video was to tell you guys that Mandibuzz is going to be a very important part of the next of the next meta game, Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire. Only Mandibuzz only really cares about switching out of special attackers and like um what you call it and freaking ah I don't know what I'm saying. I, my mind just went blank. I have no idea what the hell just happened. Uh, so like Azumarill and things like that. Uh, Azumarill, Mega Altria. Um, it doesn't really want to stay in for Sceptile, but it can. It has the ability to take like one hit, at least with my spread anyway. I, I run a different spread from most people. And yeah, so Mandibuzz is gonna be a very good Pokemon. Let's just get the, let's get to the point here. I probably repeated that like six times this video. So that's really my objective for making this video. I wanted to show I wanted to share what I have observed with Mega. What I said, Mega Mandibuzz. Oh my lord. Oh my lord. Let me compose myself. <laughs> I'm sorry. So yeah, I um with Mandibuzz. I just wanted to let you guys know what I have observed and. Let me get your opinions below. What do you think about Mandibuzz in this next upcoming um, 
metagame with Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire just two weeks away, or 13 days now, by the time this video is uploaded, it should be 13 days. Hopefully it's 13 days, because if it isn't, I'm going to be really sad. <laughs> But yeah, that's that's really all I wanted to get across to you guys. If I missed anything, don't feel free to uh, let me know in the comments below. <sighs> Metabuzz is going to be really good, <laughs> like I've said many times. So I hope you guys enjoyed. Leave a like if you did. If you didn't, I'm sorry. I'll, I'll try to be better next time, I guess. <laughs> uh, subscribe if you're not, and I'll catch you later. Until we meet again, alright, peace out. Bye.